Uh, everybody, Ron, as you may or may not know, is running the American Sales Summit in Las Vegas, uh, October 10th through 14th at the Rio. And uh, it's going to be quite an event. Uh, Ron, if you don't know him, you should get to know him, is not only a master salesperson, but more importantly, everybody should be listening to this, he is a master closer. And that's the important part here. Hello, Ron Hillman. How are you doing today? Hi, Fred. How are you? <laughs> Better than good or well enough to lie about it. Okay, so <laughs> we'll do well. Everything so far, Ron, that I said is true, correct? Every last word of it, Fred. Okay. All of it. Just like you wrote good it. Morning. Just like you wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like I wrote it. <laughs> All right, Ron, I have, I have some questions for you. I wonder if you could um, elaborate a little bit. Sure. Okay. Basically, how did you get started in sales? I got started in sales in Hawaii. I was uh, almost out of my teens. And uh, I started uh, uh, promoting and selling three construction condominium contracts to actually rich, rich Iranians who moved over to Los Angeles to Beverly Hills, which is uh, the area I grew up in, uh, L.A. And uh, I... I showed them these uh, contracts in Hawaii that where you could buy a condominium in Hawaii before it was built. Mm -hmm. and I started flying them over, and they started signing up, and I started making commissions, and that's when I got into sales. Prior to that, I skied a lot. <laughs> well, okay. All right. Well, I think that's a good lead-up. That's a great lead-up. I skied a whole lot. Yeah, a whole lot. I well, sure did. So basically, when you started uh, receiving commissions, you knew that sales were, uh, you know, that was the thing for you, correct? You know, I did, and uh, I didn't think that's what I'd be doing. I kind of thought I'd either be a professional. That's pretty much what my father and mother wanted for me, mm -hmm. maybe a lawyer or something along those lines. But right. uh, that certainly wasn't for me. I, I played a lot as, as a teenager uh, in my early 20s. I started a, a company. I... I but imagine I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, there, there was a lot more marketing than selling in the in the stuff before Hawaii. That I was out in Colorado and I started a company where we made motion pictures of skiers as souvenirs, mm. and it, it was called Cinema Ski. And I had a forest service permit, and I placed a lot of ads to get people to to hire us to shoot a motion picture film of them skiing. Right. But I wouldn't say it was a ton of selling, although I had to sell myself. Okay. The, the real selling started in Hawaii. In Hawaii. And it was the biggest rush I ever experienced in that. It's instant, Fred. It, it's the sort of thing where, you know, you have an idea, you think it's good for people, and uh, you share it with them, and you see the results of your efforts and your sales genius very, very quickly. And I think that's, uh, I know that's the part I like the best. Very quick. Yeah. You see quick results and it's fun. Okay. What uh, what gave you the idea for the American Sales Summit? Where'd you get the idea? That's a that's a great question, Fred. I uh, went to an event uh, very similar to American Sales Summit in Chicago. Uh, it was smaller in nature. There were fewer speakers and it was a little more all over the board. And I watched the uh, promoter who uh, I knew. Uh, attract a, a great number of people and teach a lot of people a lot of stuff. But I think more importantly than anything, I watched this person have a very successful event and make some money. Uh, he was helping everybody and he was paying himself. And I thought it was pretty cool. And I actually flew back from Chicago. I volunteered as help at that uh, seminar. And I flew back and I was talking to my friend Abby, who's uh, working this uh, with me. And I said, boy, you know, I volunteered to go there. It cost money. I spent money uh, to go out there and volunteer. But, boy, those speakers made money, and the c customers loved it, and everybody uh, was happy, and the promoter made a lot of money, and it was really great. What a business. <laughs> and Abby said to me, she said, well, you volunteered. That was kind of cool. If you were to do one of these things yourself, what would it be about? And I paused for a minute maybe even two minutes, and I said it would be something that deals with sales and selling. And we kept talking, and we didn't hang up. And two hours later, we were still on the same call, and we figured this out, mm -hmm. American Sales Summit. And that's how I came up with it. I had 
been around this sort of thing, and it was the topic I thought was missing. Yes. We're going to put on a, a show that's all about sales and selling, how to sell on radio, how to sell on TV, how to, how to sell with direct mail, how to close, how to line, how to overcome objections, how to uh, sell personally, how to sell on the Internet, all, all kinds of things. And we've got some incredible speakers. Fred Catan is speaking. Do you know Fred, Fred? He's a great guy. I know him well. Is he? <laughs> oh, well, he's coming, and he's going to teach radio advertising and radio selling. We have probably Fred's equal on TV. Uh, Kevin Harrington is an infomercial pioneer. He started the Guinness New Nights. He, he launched the career of Tony Mays and, and uh, all, all kinds of different things. Kevin, this topic is going to be how I sold $4.5 billion Dollars worth of stuff on TV. We have Ted Thomas teaching how to sell with direct mail, James Dentley on how to do network marketing, Austin Walsh on how to sell on the internet. We have Marshall Silver, who's probably the best influencer in the world. Marshall can pretty much get people to do anything, anytime, anywhere. He, he's a master of influence. We have Bernie Dorman, who uh, has a company called CEO Space, who's going to talk about how to build relationships, make a friend, make a sale. We have Bill Walsh, who's uh, America's business expert, Laurel Langmeyer speaking. She's a five-time New York Times best-selling author. And it's, uh, it's all day on Friday the 11th of October, uh, Saturday the 12th, Sunday the 13th, and then on Monday the 14th. And it's four days of just a total immersion in how to be a master closer, how to be a tremendous salesperson. The more you sell, the more you make. And when you know how to sell, you make much more money, whether you're working for someone else or you have your own deal. And uh, it's just going to be a place you can go to just learn how to sell your way to millions, essentially, and get to be a master closer, a master salesperson. If you hate selling and you hate marketing, with marketing is finding the people you're going to sell to. And selling is getting uh, people to get what you got. But the gist of it is is uh, four days of a total immersion into how to be a good salesperson. If you hate it, you'll learn to love it. We have Ted McGrath teaching uh, for a couple hours how to love selling even if you hate selling. <laughs> the joy of sales, the joy of selling. So yeah. it's going to be uh, four really great days. It's, it sounds extremely exciting, and I know that you've uh, this thing has turned into a big deal, the American Sales Summit. I hear a lot of people talking about it, a lot of buzz around it. It's in Las Vegas, so I have to ask this question. What else, Ron, do you have planned? What else do you have planned that could, uh, you know, beside uh, sales? What, what do you got cooking for us? Well, Las Vegas is a great place. It, it, I actually... Uh, lived in Las Vegas for 20 years. I just moved out of Las Vegas to New York City. A fantastic place. It took me three or four years just to get tired of the strip. There's just so much to see. We have helicopter rides. We have half price show tickets to Cirque du Soleil. Shows like Pa and O oh and the Beatles uh, Cirque du Soleil show Love. We, uh, we're going as a group to see Bon Jovi on Saturday night. We uh, got Crub Crawl, Club crawling for half price. Uh, essentially, uh, when you attend American Sales Summit, uh, all the shows, uh, almost every show in Las Vegas, and all the fun stuff is uh, is half price. We have a rooftop pool party, VIP, and we have uh, a welcome party at the Voodoo Lounge, which is on the 51st floor of the Rio, on the Ipanema Tower. And it's just, it's going to be a, a blast. Zip lining, we got that at half price for everybody. So, you know, you'll learn in the day and you'll play at night. It's going to be fun. It's Las Vegas. I'm on my way. If you're not there, you're square, man. <laughs> this is... <laughs> you, you, you better be. you got time blocked out for you to teach the room. Okay. <laughs> um, you, I know you have a special deal, free rooms at the Rio during the event. Uh, how's that work? The tickets are absolutely free. Uh, <laughs> they're uh, free general admission tickets. And the free general admission ticket comes with two free nights at the Rio. Mm. Uh, the gist of it is is you, you need to bring a friend who's in sales. 
So in order to get the free rooms, you, you just bring someone with you who uh, will attend like you will mm-hmm. and who uh, needs to know this stuff and wants to know this stuff. Uh, they need to be in sales. Uh, your friend gets a, a free room too. So you don't have to uh, bunk together. So you bring a friend, you attend the event. That means you're there uh, all day on Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, you listen to the speakers, and then you'll fill out a, a evaluation form on Monday, and you'll let us know how we did and which speakers you thought were great and which speakers you thought were great. And you'll also let us know which speakers were great <laughs> and what you thought of the event. And uh, then you mail that back to us, and uh, we send you a check for two nights. Sounds... That's the free ticket. On the VIP ticket, which actually is better than free, Fred, it's, it's $197. And it's uh, the same thing. You need to bring a friend. Uh, you get uh, upfront seating. Your friend needs to be in sales. Uh, you get all four nights. You get... Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or you get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday nights paid for. Wow. And uh, uh, just attend the event and uh, send back the evaluation form, and all four nights are paid for, as is your friend's room. Wow. So this is two great. rooms for four nights. This is great. And I, I forgot to tell you, that includes lunch on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is terrific. This is this is, this is really a, a big deal. Um, Ron? Thanks. I think I think this is going to be one of the most exciting events of the year. Uh, any final words for my friends that are thinking about coming? Well, your friends need to come if they're in their own business. Mm-hmm. If they're in the sales business for someone else, they definitely need to come. They'll make way more money. They'll learn techniques that they never even thought of. If they work for themselves and they're selling, they'll sell. They'll make more money because they're selling more. If uh, they run a sales force or they own a company that has salespeople, they'll understand what <laughs> the salespeople are doing, which is super helpful. If a uh, huge piece of this is if you have to sell for a living, it's part of what you do. Uh, in other words, you're not just 100% an administration, uh, but you don't like it. Uh, Ted McGrath is going to teach how to like it. When you hate it, which is a huge thing to, to get a handle on. And then, of course, you're, you're part of it, Fred, about how to get the radio to work for you and sell more on the radio. And Kevin's part about how to sell on television yep. and yep. direct mail. And, uh, you know, every, every imaginable way you could sell anything is being discussed. We even have Mel Cutler. He's going to uh, talk about how to sell with meetup groups. And we're going to teach how to sell from the stage and all, all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, I, I know. Could I know. Be a, a money maker. Yeah, I, I, I love it. Uh, I know Kevin Harrington well. You know, he's a Philadelphia kid. And cool. Yeah, we started out in the infomercial yeah, business yeah. Yeah, way back. Yeah, he sure is. Yeah. He sure is. How um, long have you known Kevin, Fred? I've known Kevin probably for 25 years. All right, because uh, he started in the infomercial me, me business. Yeah, me, way back. Yeah, I, I, I made an infomercial with Kevin about 20, 20 years ago. Mm, yes. And yeah. Kevin was living in Philadelphia at the time. That's right. That's right. He's that working. Very, very cool. Yep. Uh, Ron, how can people uh, reach you if they're interested in coming to the summit? It, again, it's October 11th through the 14th in Las Vegas at the Rio. Uh, it is. And we have a welcome party uh, the night of the 10th okay. uh, at, the, at, the, at the Voodoo Lounge. So it, it kicks off uh, the night of the 10th. Uh, Fred, would you be kind enough to send everybody listening to this call uh, the, the link to the website that Absolutely. has the special offer for, for your group? Absolutely. I'd be uh, happy to I do did, that. We didn't uh, share the special offer for your group. Do you think we should keep it a secret? or No. Or go ahead, Ron. Give them the special <laughs> offer. Uh, your group gets to sit in the front row. Wow. Okay. In in with the action. They get a na- they get they get their name they get their name on the chair, up front up front. And, you know there's a, there's a story about being up front that I'd like to share. I was uh, I was at a play in, in Las Vegas. We, there's a new uh, performing arts center in Las Vegas called the Smith Center. It's absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't have been farther from the stage if I tried. I I bought the tickets for the very last minute. Couldn't see a thing. During intermission, I went to uh, the usher. 
I heard this was possible. I said, do you guys have any tickets up front or close? I can't say a thing. Next thing I know, I'm in the third row to the right. No charge. Just perfect. Wow. And it, it was a whole different experience. Sure. Completely. Yeah, when you're up front, it's a totally different experience. Totally. So everyone, uh, everyone on the call, they get to sit up front. That's great. That's they don't great. have to sit up front, but we got special passes for the front row for, Perfect. for the people on the call. So if you could send them your, your link, uh, how to get onto the, uh, the site to register, that would be super. Okay, Ron. I'm looking forward to it. I hope everybody else is, too. And uh, I will see you, my friend, in Las Vegas. Uh, can't wait, Fred. Thank right. you so much for the call today. Yeah, you're very welcome. Take care now. Bye.